Well, from Olympic qualifiers to World Cups and championship runs, it's shaping up to be a big year for Canadian athletes. It sure is, yeah. So joining us with some sports stories to watch in 2019 is TSN's Kayla Gray. It's so good to have Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so <laughs> the Summer Olympics, we're starting there. Mm -hmm. They take place next year in Tokyo. But this summer is a big one yes. for our athletes hoping to make it to the Games. Why? Yeah, there's so much, especially when it comes to the summer before the Olympics, things tend to heat up. And why? Because the Pan Am Games. So they're expecting to be monitoring a strong 540 athletes at these games. And a dozen of these opportunities here at the Pan Ams can immediately qualify you for the Olympics. So they're going to be keeping Ooh. their eyes on for that as well. I mean, this is an excellent opportunity for athletes who are feeling like they are at their best to go up against the world best, but then to also make an imprint heading into uh, next year's Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Now, another team that you have to keep a huge eye on, of course, is the men's basketball team. A lot of people are looking towards the FIBA World Men's Cup yeah. um, in China. It's going to be the first time that they've been there you since 2010. And this is a group that a lot of people are saying they could be deep. Yes, there were some issues with some of the players being um, full-time NBA players not being able to be on this roster, but there are two players there that are on two-way contracts. But regardless of if they're in the NBA or not, Canadians boast fantastic talent when it comes to the men's basketball team. So a lot of people looking to them to finally get into the finals in this one, and of course you can get an automatic bid into uh, the 2020 Olympics as well. So oh, cool. That'd be so great yes. to watch. So definitely watch a ton of the athletes this summer. So we're also watching the FIFA Women's World Cup because yes. they take place in France this summer. We hosted them the last time. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, our women, they lost in the yes. quarterfinals uh, to England. So how are they looking? this time around. Oh, they're looking with vengeance, honey. Yes, they're we're going to bounce back. back. They're trying to bounce back, I right? Love because that. 2015, as you mentioned, they placed six on home soil. Not their best outing. The next year, they follow up with a bronze medal in Rio. So this is all or nothing on the line. And mm -hmm. of course, led by the fantastic and sorely de decorated Christine Sinclair. She's who, amazing. Uh, exactly. And when you talk about Canadian soccer, this is who comes to the forefront of um, her success. So her leading the team, a young team that can truly score, heading into this when they open up their tournament June 7th against Cameroon. So right. a lot to look forward for, for too, and especially with Christine Sinclair, one note is she is at 177 international goals. She has 184 to catch up to. That's held by Abby, Wom um, Abby Wambach's record for the most ever international goal scored, men or female. Wow. Okay. So definitely keep your eye on Miss Sinclair. We'll be watching. So I feel like every year we're talking about the Raptors and how good yes. they are until yeah. we get to the finals. <sighs> so <laughs> what are we looking for? This well, if you weren't watching last night's game, wouldn't this, well, wouldn't what this, be, a, would this, would this be a topic that I would for sure <laughs> stick with? But yes, I think this is the year, Kelsey. We see every year, especially with the Leafs or the Raptors, that this is the year. No, this is a legit year for this group, especially when it comes to Kawhi Leonard, who is shown to be a proven top two-way player. This is a group that you definitely have to keep an eye on, and a really tough East. The one thing that I will say about the NBA, it seems like things have truly balanced out in terms of competition on both sides of the conferences. So when it comes to the Raptors, yes, they're under a uh, new head coach, Nick Nurse, but for the most part, things have gelled for this group, and it's paying off dividends as injuries have been such an issue in the last little while. Mm -hmm. Kyle Lowry did not go last night, of course, suffering from back um, problems as well. So hopefully if this team gets healthy, they can make a run in the finals. I'm a strong believer in speaking it into existence. Okay, well so Are we speaking a championship into existence I'm here? I'm not going to say it because I'm not <laughs> trying to have anyone come after we'll me on, in, on Twitter. Yeah. We'll pull the tape and yeah. get out to the finals and we'll hold you to it. Kayla, thanks so much for coming in thanks today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Yeah.